hi everyone uh, this is Corman today I'm going to show you uh, how to install a dual boot patcher patcher step by step guide uh, first now I will post uh, the epic link in the video description below you can check it from there and I'll also post the XDL link uh, there is also uh, the full guide there and you can also follow that or you can go through my video tutorial here as you can see here the dual boot patcher is downloading uh, installing now I've already uh, downloaded it from the step shot build website just wait for that and uh, before doing anything uh, let it install uh, go to settings and in cyanogen mode or if you are in any other room uh, of android one uh, you must have to be rooted if you are not rooted uh, this thing will not work uh, if you are in cyanogen mode go to developer options and then uh, go after going to develop options uh, you should go to here root access and select apps and adb uh, this option and cancel it uh, do this and uh, get out from here now as you can see here the dual boot app is installed let's uh, go into it uh, first and after uh, the first boot you can see here this is the interface and now let's go to rom section and then allow if you are in uh, mar marshmallow uh, the permission uh, pop-up will come and as you can see here the kernel has not yet been set for the current room would you like to set the kernel what this will do uh, this will set your current kernel as a primary kernel primary rom's kernel so uh, this is my uh, primary uh, rom as you can see here uh, my primary rom slot primary version 6.0.1 build this and that and so that's it and now uh, to install a uh, uh, dual boot uh, you have to install a uh, patch uh, secondary room to do that uh, select patch zip file uh, suppose uh, it's another room uh, not uh, uh, this build of cyanogen mode uh, it's any other uh, like uh, bliss pop or any other uh, room here so suppose uh, here is the build here and I'm going to install it okay uh, now uh, this is a very uh, important thing that you have to look on to as you can see here uh, because this is the main thing that will happen after you dual boot partition configuration should be selected from primary room upgrade to data slot uh, because the dev has already told that uh, the data slot is uh, well enough to be installed the other uh, slots which is uh, the secondary slots and the primary room upgrade uh, are not uh, are giving some bugs as you can see installs room to system slash multi boot slash dual that cannot be selected because uh, that uh, space there is not good and it is creating problem now and you can select any id whichever name you want i am going to select sec or you can also uh, select ok or anything just i am uh, giving a name here sec like that uh, sec means secondary and then select continue after that uh, as you can see here a new uh, patch zip uh, file save uh, pop-up will come uh, cm13 this nightly spread for and the new uh, zip name will be data slot sec as i have uh, written there sec in the uh, id section dot zip now you can save it here now as you can see here it, uh, it is now getting saved here so as you can see here just don't cancel it uh, it will uh, take time uh, to create the second uh, primary a second room uh, for the Android one wait for that and after that uh, uh, make sure that the patch zip file is uh, okay there and there are also some options let me show in the meantime this app sharing here you can uh, MB tool must be updated to take advantage of the app okay you can also download that and from here as you can see see yeah, sorry for that free space uh, system data catch protective and as you can see here why the dev told to install it to in uh, uh, data section only the data section has 3 gb free memory if you have many of uh, apps musics and films uh, installed in your uh, internal memory so i will advise you not to install any dual boot option in your phone because uh, you will face many problems in storage and that will be not good for you and if you have low apps uh, just minimum apps that you want then you can uh, go for this dual boot option uh, 
and don't try this with uh, any stock ROM uh, because the dev has told uh, without MIUI ROM uh, if you someone dual boots the stock ROM uh, the uh, there are some problems that they face so don't do that uh, just do it on custom ROMs for Android one so that's it now the zip file is patching now there are two ways to install it one is in app install go to roms here so from there, here will be another section that will say secondary just select this button uh, this floating button and here as you can see here flash zip files to flash a zip file using in app flashing just add the pattern uh, patch zip by file by tapping big plus icon whatever and you can also do that so uh, let me uh, tell you uh, the best way is to uh, install it uh, from recovery if you have a twerp or uh, uh, cwm recovery go there uh, uh, go to install then images and select this uh, slot sec whatever uh, and then install it so that's it uh, please let me know in the comments what problems you are facing and i will post the full xda link in the video description below if i have not cleared anything let me know in the comments i will help my best to uh, guide you through so that's it please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this goodbye